Cork's Red FM. The win was the was, was a good start and uh, put a bit of positivity on, uh, on the first league game. But uh, I suppose we were very slow to start off, and that'll be a big thing now when the game's coming up to try and get a better start, get into the game earlier, and maybe raise the tempo a small bit more. And um, otherwise, otherwise things things were good enough in the second half. We had good movement and. Um, to work well together but it's all a work in progress really in the league I suppose Yeah I'd imagine you're fairly positive though overall reflecting on that game I mean first competitive game of the year there's bound to be a bit of rustiness there Ah yeah yeah there, there's bound to be I suppose the first game for most of the lads you know we, we had a few challenge games alright but it's just not the same I suppose the, the level goes up that little bit like but um, yeah we're, we're happy with it I suppose you know um, our forwards took their scores very well in the second half and the backs were fairly tight and um, it's just a matter of, I suppose, uh, I suppose at the start of the league to get a few new players in to see how they do and uh, try and build the team from there. Yeah, and how has training been this weekend? You mentioned the, the the new players there. You had the likes of Larkin McLaughlin and Marco Sullivan coming in last weekend and seven changes again for the for the game tonight. So um, a lot of freshness in the panel, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah, there, there is, I suppose. Like, we have a lot of young fellas on the panel this year, you know, and, and it's great to have them there to push everyone on and um, hopefully we can get a few players out of that uh, They'll make their uh, debut come to championship, you know. And there's a good buzz around the place, and I suppose um, I suppose we got a good few months of training now this year, obviously, and uh, the feeling's good. Like we're hopeful for the year. And from a personal point of view, Ron and Hart, things going. Were you happy with your performance last weekend? Uh, yeah, no, well, it's not too bad. Obviously, obviously, I didn't have a great year. Now last year, I thought myself uh, I had a lot to improve on, and I decided to start the year. I was going to train hard, train very hard. And Try and get back to where I was maybe two or three years ago. Like so, so I put a lot of effort in, and um, I suppose seeing how it goes. And I suppose one to bad start last week, and I suppose I just have to try and build from there myself. Yeah, and it's a big game for you, obviously tonight going up to Limerick to take on uh, to take on Limerick at the Gaelic Grounds, and it's I suppose a, a difficult situation for them given the situation up there. Uh, you know what that's like, obviously. Kind of the shoe was on the other foot last year, but uh, they put in a good enough performance against Galway last weekend for for uh, large parts of the game. So I'm sure you won't be taking them for granted. Definitely not. You could never take them for granted. Uh, still a few good players there. Like uh, we obviously don't have much knowledge of some of the other fellas that are that are playing at the moment, but. Um, I suppose they don't envy the position they're in, but uh, hopefully they get out of it over the next few months. And hopefully something will come out of it and uh, we'll get back to playing hurling while everyone wants. Yeah, and uh, you're playing under lights now as well tonight. That's obviously something that the uh, the footballers would be more akin to. It haven't been that many hurling games, competitive games anyway, played under lights over the last few years. Uh, that won't be much of a concern for you though, I'd imagine. No, 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 it wouldn't really. And, uh, and I think it's a great idea to tell you the truth. Um, I suppose... Uh, it brings an extra bit of buzz to it and there's usually a, a nice crowd at the games and uh, it's very exciting really to tell you the truth and may, maybe there should be more uh, games under lights in the league uh, come the following years like hopefully it will anyway because it brings a bit of buzz to it I think Yeah what are the, the, the overall goals for this uh, league campaign run and what are you hoping to achieve I mean obviously it's, it's a game by game basis you're hoping to, to, to kind of build up that match practice going into championship but uh, I mean is the overall goal it would, be, it would be nice to win a league title really wouldn't it? It would it'd be, it'd always be nice to win a league title, but I, I suppose it's the main thing is the balance of uh, trying out new fellas um, and trying to get a settled team come championship. You know, you have to strike a right balance between them. Um, that'd be the most important thing, I suppose. You know, obviously it'd be great to win a league, but our ultimate goal is the championship and starting with the Muslim Championship in Tipperary. So um, that's what we'd be building to, and hopefully to maybe get a bit of a steady team going into the tip game and maybe unearthing a few new faces for the year. Yeah, and obviously we haven't had the chance to look at uh, Tip or Kilkenny yet, the, those two games being postponed uh, over the past week. Um, I suppose the big question really, given given the, how, the, the high standard of the All-Ireland final last year, people will be wondering where Cork um, are in relation to Tip and Kilkenny. Are you confident that you could match them going on at the Championship? Oh, it, it's very hard to know, like, you know, but to be fair, Cork will never be that far away. Obviously, obviously Kilkenny and Tip are known as, the, I suppose, the two top teams in the in the country at the moment, and from last year's All Ireland final, it's hard to argue with that because it was such a great game and such a, a, a such a high intensity and tempo for the whole thing. So um, it's not like it's up to us to kind of get up to that standard this year. Uh, obviously, obviously, we think we have a, a, a good chance of getting there. Like, and you know, we're, we're going to try our best to do so. 
Yeah, and uh, just uh, Fraggy is obviously the man who's going to be captaining the team this year, Ronan. Um, I suppose a, a surprising choice initially when he was uh, named back in January, but um, I'm sure you're all rowing in behind Fraggy and uh, hoping he'll be uh, doing a good job this year. Oh yeah, the, delighted for Fraggy. Um, you know, I suppose, I suppose he, he, he's a great uh, record as being a captain. He captain Sars to, to the county championship and he captain the LIT to Fitzgibbon Cup. Like, so he has a good record there and he's a, a good speaker and someone we'd look up to in the dressing room. So, you know, as you said, there's a lot of leaders there. Uh, wish, wish Fraggy the best luck for the year. Just very finally, Ronan, um, I know it's Limerick that you'll be thinking about from now on for tonight, but it's uh, it's hard not to look two weeks down the line and uh, the Kilkenny game. Uh, Kilkenny coming down here to Cork, that's going to be an absolutely massive one. Yeah, well, it's always a big game. Like, there's always a big rivalry there. I suppose, especially after last year, where we were kind of turned over up in uh, the Northern Park. Uh, we be keen to you know, put up a, a better performance than that and uh, see how we get on against uh, the best team in Ireland at the moment. So... You know, we'll we be looking forward to that as well, but um, as you said, we must concentrate on the Limerick now. Cork's Red FM. Red FM.